Loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. First down is Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here we go now. Blue 45. Blue 45. Up. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Flush to his right. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Nice job there defensively. A great time to dial up a blitz. And give him credit under center instead of throwing it away. Actually, a pretty good job of getting past the line of scrimmage, not losing yardage. Now Mahomes escaping the pressure right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Damian Williams, the man he was looking for, and it's third down. Used to have a coach used to tell us all the time, those scouting reports aren't just to use up paper, guys. Well, nowadays, you know, we're watching a computer screen, right? They scouted this team very well. Know that they like to use the running backs in the passing game. They covered that play successfully. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And it's complete to Kelsey. A big 30-yard play on third. That's a big-time pitch and catch right there. And, partner, I remember the days when quarterbacks would try this. They were holding their breath. But nowadays, they're counting on their receiver to be just a little bit better than the defensive back when it's one-on-one -on -one and the ball's in the air like that. Throw left side taken in by Hill. 11 more on that one, and another first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Flushed out right. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. 12 more yards there and another first down. Every coach we ever talk to says to his team before the game, quick start, guys. Let's get out of the gate fast. <laughs> How about that? They took his lesson to heart, didn't they? They did exactly that. A nice diving catch here on the game's opening drive. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. Steps away to his left. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Five yards that time on the completion, and now it's third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Here's Mahomes, third and goal. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, a five-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs take it right down and score on the opening drive. Personally, for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You can have a lot to handle in this one. Butker now to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. 
And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Prescott to throw it. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. He got 29 yards that time. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Elliott spinning again. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. The give is to Elliott. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers point their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. On the counter, Elliott. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move as they face a second down here. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Ron Parker there in on the coverage, and he knocked it away. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And he's got it to Hearns. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. And that'll be incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. And again, it's Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Jeff Swain.